Hi everybody, welcome to the Sewing Basket here in Plymouth, Wisconsin. It's been a while since we've done a shop tour, so we're going to take you around the store today and show you what's new since you haven't seen it in a bit. So we're at the front door right now. This little guy down here is a new Mix 6 quilt. Really cute fabrics. And we have kits on that and patterns and fat quarters. But we also thought this new little Backyard Buddies made a really cute embroidery that would be just darling put into that quilt. We just pinned it on top, but it sure would be cute embroidered on top of that baby quilt. So as we come in, you'll see a number of new things. The first one that we're going to come across is our sunflower quilt called Blooming Fun. This is the first quilt pattern from our subscription series. We have our own network, um, our Sewing Basket Playground. You get to it by going to play.sewingbasket.fun. All of our show and tell is there, our videos, our free patterns and learning and tip sheets are all there, and it is all free. There is, however, a area that you can access that is a pay program. It is our subscription area, and you can join that. It's a six-month subscription, and each month you get a new pattern and tip ideas, videos, and other fun things. It's $59 for six months. This is the first pattern that is accessible through subscription. Subscription members get the first 30 days of access and then the pattern becomes available. But inside subscription, there are all kinds of videos and tips as well. So that's Bloom and Fun. It's quilted on the embroidery machine and also using the dual feed foot with a serpentine stitch. And we did a video on that in the subscription area as well. There are kits and fat quarters available. We just got in a lot of new William Morris fabric. Just beautiful blues, browns, some really pretty blenders and tone on tones, a few that we had, and then a lovely red as well. Sometimes those big prints, you're not sure what to make. So we made this topper. I'm gonna to show you the picture of it. And I'm gonna back up a little bit. It's kind of put here over the wall. And that is, let me just do that. So you can see that pretty print in the middle. Great table topper size. It finishes 34 by 34. And there are kits and patterns on that also. That is a new pattern here at the shop. The next new pattern is the one on the back wall. This is our big block. Easy to do. It's going to be our next beginner project. Hoping to schedule that yet this fall. As soon as we get it scheduled, we'll have it on the network as well as on our website and here on our Facebook page. This was kind of fun. Our inspiration for this quilt was a little pin. That pin is about one inch square. You can see it compared to my finger. And we just made it really big. So it's a fun, easy project for beginners. Makes a great wall hanging. And also the way that it goes together, it finishes 45 inches square. If you make four of them, they connect with a really interesting flying geese pattern and it makes a queen size quilt. So a quick and easy project. We still have some of the beautiful elephant fabrics left. And yesterday I did the video on the crossword puzzle or Scrabble type quilt that's setting here. We've got a few new Marsha Durst fabrics in and still have Tim Holtz. Got some fun prints in called Typecast with letters and numbers and words. And then over here, some of our fall prints. And we still have a nice selection of Halloween fabrics. And lots of fun stuff here. This panel glows in the dark. And it's got just cute little animals and houses. And then there are coordinating fabrics that also glow in the dark. So just kind of a fun project there. They still have a few of the Raven kits and the candy cane 
spooky and sweet table topper. It's fun to finally be getting some fabrics in. Everything has been running late, but we got this new rock and roll panel in. Bright colors. And then the coordinates down here are also bright and fun. Say rock and roll and drums and pianos, guitars, music notes and piano keys. So if there's a music lover in your household, we haven't had a new music line in a while. We haven't seen too many. I'm gonna come across this way, have a nice selection of the navies and the greens. And we just got in, oh, six or seven new bolts of red and khaki or red and tan. So those are new. Here you'll notice this runner that's our topper, excuse me, that's kind of in the background here, is the same pattern as the William Morris across the way, but we just did it in two fabrics instead of three. As we come across, we still have kits on the ladder, the blue and tan. And this one is a new sample we just finished. And this is from the um, Jason Yenter Haven fabrics. We had a number of kits. They sold out very, very quickly. We are able to get more fabric. It will be here at the end of the month. So if you're interested in a kit on that, you can call the shop or put a, um, either call or stop in and we can put you on the waiting list for when those kits arrive. Hi ladies, just in the midst of a video. So those kits will be available. The newest line that came in is the laundry basket line by Editor Star for Andover Fabrics and all the blenders. This is the main print. It's really a pretty, pretty print. And you can see those coordinates that work with it really nice. And as usual, we did fat quarter bundles that work with all of our patterns. And then we also did half yard bundles of that um, to have a nice selection for other things. And her last line, the blues down here, we still have plenty of those left as well. So I'm gonna just come around this way. Carrie, wave and say hi as she walks by. Hi. She's helping out some folks and there's Cheryl. Hi. So I'm gonna bring you over um, fall fabrics here. Did some new bundles with some pretty leaves in fat quarter bundles and three yard bundles that work with all the three yard quilt books. This is a real quick little project. This was from a panel that we had, have I should say. So there's a whole panel here. And what I did is cut off some of the sunflowers at the top and turned it into just a topper size. And it's a great place to practice some thread painting or free motion quilting. Um, so panels like that, don't always think you have to do something with the whole thing. You can cut them up, do placemats or hot pads. They make great gifts. So other fun embroidery projects, the sunflower runner and the squirrels. And then we also have a kit on the bricks and blocks done in those fall sunflowers. I'm gonna go around this way because we've got some ladies at the register. It'll be a little more quiet headed this way. And if you haven't been in in a while, we rearranged the front room and turn the bed sideways. So in the front window, we've got a new quilt here. This one was again done with the um, three yard quilt book. And the purple and gray on the bed is our do -si do pattern. We got a new line of um, kids prints that has unicorns, really sweet and lavenders, violets, a little bit of pink, little gray and cream. We do have kits on that, as well as fat quarter bundles and some purples. And I think we've got one kit left on the four square on the back wall, just a pretty bright, um, more summery quilt. And we just started to put together some more kits. These are kits of um, our mix six pattern. So it's six fat quarters and the pattern all set. You can just pick them up, grab and go. And then these are our AOK -okay patterns, four half yards and a pattern, and they're mix and match. There's a pattern and they're ready to just pick up and go. So we wanted to make that a little easier with a lot of folks that come in for a baby quilt and aren't quite sure what they wanna do. 
Here we set up a bit of a quilting area, talking about quilting with your embroidery machine, and also quilting, um, free motion quilting, and quilting with your walking foot. So we'll be doing a little bit more on that coming up. And as we go into the front room, I still have a nice selection of the sock monkey fabrics. Those are just sweet as can be. And I'm gonna go ahead this way. The little dog print quilt up here is our big block quilt. In the other room, we had done it in the blue and tan. Here we've got um, toss dogs and dog footprints. So just kind of a fun, fun print. As we come across, lots of new books in, some new ones and some that we had and were out of stock. They've all arrived, so we've got a nice um, amount of those. And I showed you a picture of the knitting fabric the other day and Carrie finished a, a tote bag with it in our mix six tote pattern. Just a really fun print to use. The solids look like they're knit. So an interesting look for a tote bag for a knitting friend. I'm gonna come around this way and we rearranged in here a little bit. Um, still mostly kids prints up here. The astronauts and the science fabric, construction, and then little animals, llamas, bears, fish and underwater, and then um, animals from around the world. This sweet little owl line just came in yesterday. And by the front door, I had showed you the um, backyard buddies with the raccoon. Well, that pattern also had an owl on it. So we did stitch him up and thought, oh, won't he be cute in a mix six quilt as well? So we just set a little sample there so you can see what it looks like when you stop in the shop. And we moved our kind of miscellaneous flowers and end of summer to this area. So we still have a number of kits and projects on those. And Jot Dot, Jax, and Starlet in our solid blender lines are still up here. And as we come into the middle room, not too much has changed up here. We did get in a lot of gray on gray, black on black, and white on white. So that's just a mix up here. And as I come around this way, we've been waiting and waiting on batiks. They've been stuck in a container in LA for months. We got a shipment yesterday. That's right here in these lovely blues and greens. The sunflowers, the blues and greens. Just a really pretty line. And we've got some more that are on the back cutting table. I'll show you those in just a minute. And over here, we moved some of our animal print panels this way. Our camping in fall is here. We did use the United States panel that says home and made a really big pillow out of it. Great for the kids on the floor in the rec room or in a camper. Fun little project goes together really quickly. There is a video on our uh, in our network and on our website for how to put a zipper in a pillow. So a nice quick project if you're looking for a fun thing for the kids. Christmas fabrics, they're all pretty much the same since the last tour. That usually tends to come in a little early. Pretty starry quilt in the golds and the metallics. Still have a lot of choice in the Christmas fabrics. And when we get out to the back area in a few minutes, we're going to show you a number of the new patterns that we put together. So I'm going to come across this way. Try not to make you motion sick. Some cute gnome fabric. Somebody just took the main print up to the register. Uh, but there's a, a cute border print and trees and polka dots. So that's kind of fun. And we're going to head out this way. Penny's working at the back cutting table. And we've got um, some new things in the purse area. Some new zippers, big head um, zippers, larger projects. They're a little bit of a mess. We haven't opened so downstairs today. 
on purses and lots of new hardware and a cute new pattern. If you had seen the Lucky Penny wallet made out of the faux leather, there is another one that's a little bit smaller wallet, also very cute. And we did get in a new selection of a lot of different colors of leather. So here I'm gonna take you across the back wall. And these are all new samples. This is our Town Square Runner. Works great with fat quarters. Also works nice with border prints. And that Town Square Runner we've had for a little bit. And then we created a new pattern that is called Borders and Block Bonanza. And a great way to use a border stripe in a block as runners or toppers. And you could also use a panel. You could take a panel like this and set it in where the blocks are. So that border and block bonanza gives you all those different layouts. We also have picked up a number of the Janine Babbage designs that fit in the hanging rack. And those are, we've got the Boo for Halloween, the Countdown to Christmas, and those go in this little three-piece rack, which we do have in stock. And then we also have the larger rack, and there's Thanksgiving, and there's Hello Winter, and also Walking in a Winter Wonderland, right over here, most wonderful time of the year. And then also we picked up the Joy, and on a number of these we've been having fun, instead of putting it on the rack, we've turned it into a pillow. And these have dimensional leaves, so it's kind of fun. Um, one of the gals mentioned, not great if you have cats or dogs, they like to chew on those. So in that case, you might want to sew them down. And we did also get in the Love is Patient panel that had been out of stock and is back in now, just a beautiful wedding gift and some coordinates that work with that to frame out that panel. Penny's working on a new sample. Hi, Penny. <laughs> and so... New pillow forms we haven't put away yet. And over here to the brand new batiks that just came in. Really pretty Christmas ones, poinsettias, holly berries, and then a fall set with sunflowers. And this also is just really pretty pine cones, leaves. And then this top one has bears and trees, so a really nice, nice outdoor look. That's over there. And back corner, kind of embroidery runners for all different seasons. And then this is our cute new pattern for subscription in October. This one, I'm absolutely drawing a blank on the name of it. I'm sorry, I believe it's called Pumpkin Patch but this is done with a fat quarter pack. That pattern, if you are in the subscription area in the network, it'll be up for you already today. If you are not a subscribing member, you can subscribe at any time. You'll get this pattern, the sunflower that I mentioned earlier, and then one more each month up through May. And if you are just wanting the pattern, this pattern will be available on November 1st, just in time to make it for next year. All right, and I think that is all the way around our blenders here and just headed back up towards the front of the store. And I think we're in pretty good shape. Hope you enjoyed the tour and we will see you again soon. Thanks for watching.